So if you've ever recorded MIDI with Logic, you probably noticed that the beginning of your recording gets cut off sometimes. And today we're going to talk about three different ways you can solve this problem. What's going on voiceover warriors and keyboard ninjas? Welcome back to Logic.Band, a place full of tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you as a blind Logic voiceover and macOS user. Subscribe to the mailing list at logic.band and get a free getting started with logic course. So I'm going to play a little bit of this MIDI part that I recorded here for you. And as you can tell, the beginning of the notes are getting cut off. And if you're playing chords, sometimes it'll cut off the start of a chord. And by the time it kicks in, it'll sound like a chord you didn't actually play. Now I got a fixed version of this. So I'm just going to show you what that sounds like quickly. So that's what it would sound like if it wasn't being cut off. But right here, we have the one that we're going to work with today. And you can see that that first note is being cut off there. So the first thing you can do to fix this and the quickest and easiest is going to be pressing Q to quantize. So sometimes when you press Q to quantize, I'm going to press Q right now. Quantize selected regen cells. If you will see that it might fix it. Now that may work a lot of the time, but sometimes that may not work because while it may fix that first note, it may throw off some of your other performances and you'll have to end up splitting the region and quantizing the different sections to different values. If you're happy with your performance and you don't want to have to go ahead and split up the region and set different quantized values or only split the region so you can only quantize that first region, then the next two ways may be the way to do it. One bar one. So, what you can do is either open the event list or the piano roll and move that first note to start on bar one beat one. Essentially what's happening here is when you record yourself with that count in, you're still hitting that first note just before the downbeat. Even though when you play it, it feels like you're coming in right on time with the downbeat for bar one beat one, but really in reality, you're just a little bit early and anything before bar one beat one is just not getting played back when you hit the space bar. So we can go into the event list with command seven. Now in fixing the start of your mid. And I'm gonna press VOJ to jump into the table with the events. In table, column one, row 29 empty cell. I'm gonna press VO home to jump up to the top now. here. Lima, column one, row And now I'm gonna navigate VO right arrow over to where the first one starts. M. Position 048065 scrubber group. Column three 048 048065 scrubber group. So you see that says 04865. Um, so basically that means it's before bar one because it says zero. So if I VO down arrow, one, two, nine hundred thirty nine scrubber. You see that note is after bar one because the first number is one. So I'm going to go back up here. Zero, four, eight hundred sixty five scrubber group. So anything that starts with a zero instead of a one, you need to move to start at bar one. So you can VO shift space twice quickly on this. Zero, four, eight hundred sixty five scrubber group. Press the number one, hit return. Eight items selected. One bar one. And that will move it to bar one. So you can be able to space twice to double click, press the number one to move the position from zero four eight six five or whatever it's set to, to be right on bar one beat one. One 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 scrubber group. And there you hear it says it's now bar one beat one, et cetera, et cetera. So that's one way to do it in the event list. I'm going to close the event list. Tracks group. And one bar one beat one. This time, let's try fixing this with the piano roll. So if I press command four to open the piano roll in its own window. Now in tab fixing the start of your. And I'm going to jump into the piano roll layout area here. In piano roll layout area, 29 items. Noted four beats, 865 ticks. C2 layout item, piano roll layout area. Noted four beats, 865 ticks. C2 layout item. You see it says no at four beat. It didn't say a bar because there's no bar number in front. That's zero. So if I view right. Noted one bar, two beats, 900. You see that says no at one bar, two beats, right? So if I view left. Noted four beats, 865 ticks. So as you can tell, once again, it's saying that there, this is before bar one because there's no bar number. So this time what we're going to do, I'm going to hit return to make sure I'm at bar one, one bar one beat one. And then I'm going to hit the semicolon to move the selected note to the playhead. So now noted one bar one beat one tick C2 layout item. You see that says no at one bar one beat. Now you can use this method in the event list as well. If you move the playhead to bar one and then hit the semicolon when you have 
the event selected in the event list that will also work there. Now another option is to turn on chase in MIDI settings and what chase will attempt to do is try to pick up the start of the note that starts before wherever the playhead is. Sometimes it doesn't always necessarily work if something is too far back before bar one beat one, but it will usually work anywhere else in the project. Now I got a tutorial on how to turn on chase. You can find that in the free getting started with logic course. Just visit logic.band and sign up for the mailing list if you haven't already subscribed. And once you subscribe, you'll get that course sent to you for free. And one of the lessons in there is how to turn on chase. All right, so those are three different ways you can fix this issue you run into in logic when you start recording MIDI. Hope you found those helpful and useful. Drop a comment down below if you have any other tips or tricks you'd like to share with the community about how you fix issues like these. If you found this video useful and helpful, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and hit like. Hope that helps you get more efficient with your MIDI recording in Logic. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. You can support us with a donation by visiting logic.band support. If you're interested in going deeper on any of these topics, book yourself some one-on-one -on -one training by visiting logic.band training. You can find both these links plus a link to a blog post with some supplemental information for this tutorial in the description below. And as always, until next time, happy recording.